let's see the saturated and unsaturated fat. Now, before this, we have learned saturated hydrocarbons and uh, unsaturated hydrocarbons, right? Okay, let me give you an example. Sir. Let's say we have uh, ethane. This is an ethane. Okay, let's say we label it A, yeah? Okay, A. And then we have ethene. Okay, let's label it B. Uh, out of these two hydrocarbons, uh, which one is saturated? A or B? Saturated. Yes. Okay, A is saturated. Now, how do we know it's saturated or not saturated? You see the double bond. Uh, the double bond. If there is double bond or triple bond in the molecule, then it's unsaturated. If you have this double bond, uh, then it's unsaturated. So if there is no double bond, then it's saturated. So this is saturated and this is unsaturated. Okay, now oil can also be saturated or unsaturated, eh? okay? Okay, let's see this one, okay? Now, this oil eh, or this fat molecule is saturated or, or unsaturated? The answer is, this is saturated. Saturated, eh? okay? Why? Why is saturated? Why is saturated? You see, hey, there is a double bond here, right? There's double bond, eh? okay? So just now, I say so when there's a double bond, then it should be unsaturated. But here, it has double bond, then why I say it's saturated? Now, the double bond for saturated, eh? for saturated oils or fat or saturated hydrocarbons, eh? the double bond must be in between carbon and carbon. This is carbon and oxygen, so, uh, it's, so, uh, so you cannot use this to judge whether it's a saturated or unsaturated, okay? The double bond must be in between carbon and carbon, and then only is uh, unsaturated. Okay, so there is no double bond uh, between carbon and carbon, so it's still saturated. Uh, so this is saturated. Okay, if there is double bond, uh, for example, so there's a double bond here. Okay, double bond here, and uh, then it becomes unsaturated. Okay, if if there is a uh, double bond uh, in the molecule uh, between carbon and carbon, uh, then it's uh, unsaturated. So that's the difference between saturated and unsaturated fat, okay, from the structural formula. Okay, this one, uh, saturated and unsaturated fat. Okay, for saturated fat, it consists of saturated fatty acid, and saturated fatty acid have no double bond. It has no double bond. And no double bonds between what? Between carbon atoms. There is no double bond between carbon atoms okay the carbons uh the, the double bond between carbon and oxygen that one is not counted okay okay uh for unsaturated hydrocarbons unsaturated hydrocarbons then it consists of unsaturated fatty acid and contains one or more than one double bonds uh, in the fatty acid so that is the uh, major difference between saturated and unsaturated uh this uh, fatty acid Okay, and then saturated fats, it has higher melting point. Okay, higher melting point. Eh? And uh, unsaturated fats has lower melting point. This is also, this is the same as uh, saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Okay, for saturated hydrocarbon, it has higher melting point and unsaturated hydrocarbon, it has lower melting point. Eh? That, that, that's also true for uh, saturated fats and unsaturated fats. Eh? Okay. Uh, the reason is because uh, unsaturated fat it has less electrons uh, because when it has this double bond, uh, okay, there will be uh, two hydrogen less compared to saturated fats. Uh, okay, so it has uh, less electrons in the molecule and therefore it has lower melting point. And uh, since it has high melting point, uh, therefore usually it exists as solid at room temperature. And uh, for unsaturated fat, usually it exists as liquid at room temperature because it has low melting point. Saturated fats cannot be hydrogenated and unsaturated fat can be hydrogenated. Now, what does it mean by hydrogenated? Huh? What does it mean by hydrogenated? Now, for example, let's say you have uh, ethene. So, so this is unsaturated, huh? unsaturated. So you can plus hydrogens, okay? You can uh, add hydrogens into the molecule. So this is called hydrogenation. So, so I, after you add these uh, hydrogens into the molecules, then it will become saturated, okay? It becomes saturated, uh, the double bond gone. Uh, 
so it becomes saturated so it becomes that uh, so since it's unsaturated uh, it has double bond uh, so therefore we can add hydrogen so this one uh is saturated saturated we cannot add hydrogen inside anymore uh, because it's already full okay so then it cannot be hydrogenated so, so unsaturated fat can be hydrogenated saturated fat cannot be hydrogenated last one okay so saturated fat usually has high cholesterol content and unsaturated fat has no cholesterol content uh i guess you know what's cholesterol right